Uh, this right here is the Sky Rover X1, and it is another drone in my hunt to figure out who is going to replace DJI. It's almost inevitable at this point that come December 23rd, DJI drones, or, or new DJI drones, will not be allowed to be sold into the US. We will supposedly, hopefully, be able to keep all of our old drones, but no, no new drones. So who then? Do I, do I shift to? And these guys, uh, I, I tested out maybe three weeks ago, the S1 from Sky Rover, which is like almost an identical drone to the Mini 4K, even though it performs like the Mini 3. This drone, the X1, performs more like the Mini 4 Pro, which is my primary drone. It's the main one that I fly. I've got the Air 3S, I've got, I've got the bigger drones, but I always fly and take with me when I travel the Mini 4 Pro. The X1, supposedly, flies just like it. And that's, that's my hope. My hope is that this is just a, a Mini 4 Pro in a, in a yellow dress. Okay, it has now been two weeks of flying the X1 versus the Mini 4 Pro and... Ah. Uh... All right, first flight with the Sky Rover X1. Just do a little hand launch here. I don't think I could say it is exactly a Mini 4 Pro in a yellow dress, but it is it is 90% of the way there to a Mini 4 Pro. Like it, it has a whole lot that's the same and only a few things that are actually different. <laughs> like look at look at the bodies of them. Like look at the gimbals of Dude. Okay, first let's run down the list of where these two drones are almost identical. And then we will talk about like the few ways that the DJI 4 Mini 4 Pro is, is a teeny tiny bit different, uh, but why even then you might not want to buy this drone. If you're in the US, by the way, a lot of this is going to be if you're in the US. If you're out of the US, like just look at the comparison, but when you, when you bring the fact that uh, DJI is having a bit of an issue in the US here, uh, all right, both of these drones are sub 249 grams. They both shoot 4K 60. Both have incredible photo modes, 48 megapixels or 8K photos. A big one is that they both shoot true vertical mode, which means that the gimbal itself actually rotates vertically as opposed to just taking a 16 by nine and cropping into a vertical. Like even my Air 3S does that. I, that's one of the big reasons that this drone is so rad is because it does that vertical mode and and so does this one. Both of the drones offer active tracking, which is almost identical across. I, I said in my S1 video, like whoever made the Sky Rover app, they they used to work for DJI or they might still be, I don't know, but it is almost identical. Like you go into the settings, you go into everything, you, the active track, it's all the exact same. Incredibly, Familiar. Uh, Sky Rover recently added waypoints, so now they both have waypoints. Return to home, of course, and omnidirectional obstacle avoidance system, which is those four cameras on top, which if you look at these drones, the camera systems there are almost identical, if if not identical. Like, I, I, again, we'll talk about how they're a little different, but the, the cameras that it's using to see the world around it, I think, are identical. Uh, both have wildly good range, like the transmission range on these two is, is almost identical and very far, we'll get to that in a minute, and the battery life is almost identical. They both say between 32 and 35 minutes is like what they claim. I think that realistically with either of these drones you're looking at between 25 and 28 minutes in like real world flight use. I like to rip sport mode a lot, like I, I use sport mode to get my drone to a spot and then I flip the cinematic mode and then I shoot like a nice cinematic shot with it, but rip and sport mode does burn the battery a little faster. And both are level five wind resistant. So how stable they are in the wind, um, again, identical. So with that said, like how has this drone been to fly the past two weeks? Like I said, it's been very familiar. I really have had very few moments where I felt flying this was any different at all to flying my Mini 4 Pro. And the range, I think, is the most shocking thing. Okay, let's talk about range for a second. The range is the thing that makes me almost, it's probably the thing that, that I most feel like certain that this is DJI adjacent. And it's because with other, other brand drones, the main thing that you feel is that they don't, you, you don't have the same range. Right now, I am shockingly far away from where I am right now. 
Uh, they are saying 15 kilometers. I don't know how far I am, but I know that I'm very far down the boardwalk. If I, if I turn and I look back, I am this side of the pier by a lot. Like I'm, I'm like halfway between the point and the pier down there. And the drone is way down here and I have full bars. Oh, I just lost my first bar. My first bar is now starting to blink. Nope, it's back. Oh, blinking, back. That's crazy transmission distance. Perfect signal. I can see the video feed perfectly. I can control the drone completely. You don't get that on other drones. Like no other drone have I flown and felt like it beat DJI's transmission. So to have a Sky Rover drone that this brand came out of nowhere and suddenly they have this insane, amazing range, uh, it's suspicious. It's suspiciously familiar. And then again, having all of those modes in there, being able to active track, being able to actually track behind me and then off to the side of me, those worked flawlessly. You still have the quick shot modes in there, so you can do dronies and helix and and the what's the what's the straight ascend? Is that the is that the straight up one? We have all of those modes on there. Like again, I I I really believe you are getting 85 to 90 percent of the Mini 4 Pro in this drone and this drone is cheaper. Okay, so let's talk about where where the Mini 4 Pro does still win. Honestly, like look, when you look at the bodies, they are almost identical. Like it, it looks like they changed things slightly. Basically they changed the exterior mold, but fit it to all the exact same internal components is, is my assumption here. But I do prefer like the feel of the Mini 4 Pro does feel like a little more robust, but I mean, I don't know. I don't know, maybe for real, like even the, the little wingy bits, it's, it's, it's identical. One thing that is a big upgrade for me on the Mini 4 Pro is that an option is to have the RC2 controller with the screen on there. I love this thing. Basically, all of my drones are hooked up to this controller because I don't like, like, it, it felt like a big downgrade to go back to a normal controller, having to put my phone up into here. <laughs> Even the sticks feel the same. <laughs> Having to plug my phone into the drone, use my phone as a drone screen, as opposed to using this, uh, that was, it felt like a big downgrade, but it's just because I've been doing it for so long that every time I pull one of these out, I'm like, oh, that's right. We used to have to do that. And now we have this. Um, Sky Rover though, I feel like you know where to get some DJI components. And I feel like maybe they got one of these screen bits laying around. You could just slap Sky Rover on there. That, that'd be really nice. And then the last thing that like I could actually tell between the two drones is that my Mini 4 Pro does have D-Log M. Now it's not full D-Log, but D-Log M does color grade better with larger footage than just like the normal color mode. I did just test normal color mode across the two, like any of the side-by-side -side flights that I was doing to just tell myself, like, what am I looking at? Like, are these different at all? And I'll tell you that in normal mode, no difference. I saw nothing between the two drones, in the video modes, especially in the photo modes, that I could say like one was better than the other. I really believe, they're both using a one over 1.3 inch sensor. I kind of think it must be the same sensor. Again, Sky Rover won't tell me, DJI won't tell me. No one's telling me that these are the same drone, but I feel, I feel like they are. With this big difference, and that is that in the US especially, this company is about to get banned. December 23rd, we will no longer be able to purchase new drones, and we're not sure if DJI will be able to continue importing their old drones. We believe that your old drones are safe, you can keep them, you can fly them, that's what I'm, I'm thinking so far, I'm hoping, but DJI won't be able to get new drones into the country or launch new drones, like the Mini 5 Pro, probably never come into the US, any sort of new drones that they launch not come into the US, so making the switch to the Sky Rover for US drone pilots especially, I think makes the most sense to be able to pick up a drone where you're like, oh, I'm not concerned that the company is just gonna suddenly get cut off by the US government. That's frustrating. The other big difference though, is that this guy is significantly cheaper, significantly. When you buy the Mini 4 Pro with the, with like their version of, of this remote control, which by the way, looks identical. <laughs> 
Look how close those are. This does have like a little Beverly bit here, but those those look shockingly close. When you when you buy the Mini 4 Pro with this remote control, you're looking at about $750. And with this guy, that drops down to $539. And then when you take the Mini 4 Pro, you can, you can go up to the Fly More combo, you can add in the RC2, and when you do that, the Mini 4 Pro with the RC2, it's like $1,250 or $1,300 for this combo. And this combo over here, Fly More, three batteries, the remote control, you can jump to $629. And I will say, as much as I love this remote control, I wouldn't pay $600 more to switch from a normal remote to this remote um, for 600 bucks. No D log M, uh, no screen camera bit, but much cheaper. What do you think though? Sky Rover X1. Is it just a Mini 4 Pro in a yellow dress? Doesn't all this feel crazy? Like, is anyone else just watching this and being like, wait, what? It's being banned? For what? And then this thing? It's just that, but yellow, but not DJI. What?